Hello, I'm Mark Kobayashi, and this is a demo video for my new iPhone app, Holograms. Okay. This application will let you take photographs and turn them into virtual holograms. Well, how does this work? Let's find out. First, we tap the holograms icon, which brings up the loading screen and the example holograms that come with the application. We've got San Francisco, Mockworks, and LaserCat. Let's start with San Francisco by tapping on the name there, like so. And this one is a horizontal hologram. Now, if you look at this and we tilt it back and forth, you can see that this image actually has some depth and it's using the accelerometer to kind of detect um, what the orientation is of the iPhone or iPod Touch device and turns it into kind of a virtual 3D hologram. And it's also got a little bit of a rainbow effect there, like so. Okay, and if we go back, let's try the next one, the Mockworks logo. Oops, same sort of deal. Uh, we got the logo on a field of stars that are coming towards you. And if you kind of tilt it back and forth, this one's pretty exaggerated for effect, but you can see it looks like it's a bulging uh, kind of a logo there. Like, like so, up and down and everything. And finally, let's take a look at the last one, which is the laser cat. This one, same sort of deal. It's got a hologram of a cat that looks like it's made out of lasers and it's on my hand in 3D. So if we tilt it back and forth, you can actually see the hand moving with respect to the cat, like so. Ta -da. Okay, but, you know, that's really cool. How do we make holograms uh, ourselves? All right, well, let's start by making a new hologram. You'll hit the plus sign up here and we'll see the same sort of thing. We can name the hologram something uh, or hit done to just accept the regular name. And then you click on the title like so. And then that brings us back to the same window. And I'll describe the icons here. We have the back button to go back to the list of holograms. We have a camera icon. And we have the up and down buttons to make the hologram go up or down. Erase, unerase, settings. And down here we have uh, brush size and full screen mode. So we'll have to start by taking a picture. Now, if your device does not actually have a camera, then you'll just use the photo library. But since we do have a camera, Let's take a look at that. This brings up the standard camera app, and what we'll do is, let's see, try to find something to take a picture of. Hey, hey, look, it's Tracy. Hello, Tracy. And then, let's see, we take a picture there. She's got her eyes closed, but that's cool. <laughs> and then, put it down here, and hit use photo, like so. And... There we have a 2D photo, just like regular, okay, no depth to it at all or anything like that. But we hit the up icon, and then we kind of draw where we have a foreground image. Let's try tapping the face a couple times, and then tapping around here a little bit, like so. Now, let's make this a full screen image. If we go in here, you can actually tilt it back and forth. And you know, this is, it's a little bit crude because i just kind of doing this left-handed and very quickly, but you can see that it actually has some depth to it. Ta-da! Like so. Okay. Um, but that's not all. You can also use uh, images from your library. Oops. I'm going back instead of... Right, let's go back to the image. And let's try using the camera, uh, the photo library. And I found that this actually works really great with baby photos. So let's see if we can find a picture of a cute baby somewhere in here. Uh, the cats, car, more cats, boom dice, motorcycle, bunny rabbits, friends. Ah, baby! Perfect. Yeah. Now we'll load up this baby photo. Okay, and just like before, okay, it starts off as just a flat 2D image. Okay, but we can actually make it kind of bigger, like so. Brush a little bit bigger, and now what we do is we just draw whatever's in the foreground. And that's pretty much the whole thing. But I'm also going to kind of draw a little bit more in the center to sort of bring out that center thing. I'm going to make his cheeks a little bit bigger, and I'm going to make a little bit of a dimple nose thing there. Tap, 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 and so forth. Okay, and then now we've got it like that, like so. Ooh, you can actually see that it's got depth. And now he's kind of like, ah, shaking baby, ah, mad baby, mad baby. Um, and this also has a number of effects, so let's take a look at that. So we'll tap the settings icon up there, the little gear, and we have a list of uh, different settings that we can apply to this, and one of them is effect type. Okay, so let's try that. 
And then let's see, um, okay, well, we've got the rainbow effect that we've seen. Okay, let's try the laser effect. Go back. And... Laser baby! Ah, back and forth, ah, and so forth. And you actually have a hologram of a laser baby. Now, of course, you can make this a lot more refined by spending a little more time with the depth icon and so forth, but this is just a demo. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, you know, that's pretty cool and everything, but, uh, well, this, this really doesn't work too well with two eyes. I mean, this is mostly going to work with this camera because there's only the single lens, but when you have two eyes, you can tell that it doesn't actually have depth. Well, that's true, unless you have a pair of these. That's right, yeah, the old red and blue glasses. I don't know if you remember these or not, but if you happen to have a pair of these, then what you can do is you can turn on the red-blue effect, like so, and let's turn off the laser effect. And go back to the image, and we'll wait a little while while it calculates, and it's a little bit hard to tell in the video, but there actually is a little bit of a red and blue shift on here, um, and if you had the glasses on, you could actually see this baby was in real 3D. So there you go. Baby 3D glasses. Buy it. Holograms available on the iTunes store. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Ah, ah.